we're going to need four things to create a choir demo in a form of a video. So those four are, first of all, yung sheet music natin kung saan yun yung magiging main guide ng inyong choir. The second is the music or the demo in a form of mp3. Um, the next one would be PowerPoint, which is open now on our screen. And the last one is the snipping tool. So how do you access the snipping tool? Press the menu button or head over here and then type snip. So this is the snip tool. So similar lang siya sa process na ginawa ko dati on my previous video. But this time, instead of us typing in the words, we just snip from our sheet music yung mga portions na kakailangan na natin. We're going to do uh, this song. It's a hymn called Since Jesus Came Into My Heart, arranged by Chris Cronk. I'm ready to snip. Activate it. Um, go to new. And then make sure that you have a good coverage of uh, snip. So um, on the first slide, I want this one to come out and then paste it right here. So kung ayan ninyo ng mga napuputol-putol na ganyan, what you can do is just uh, insert a text box and then kulayan lang natin siya ng puti. Color it white and remove the background. Yan, you just need to cover things that you don't want to see. Okay, include, uh, let's insert an, a blank new slide. Actually, what we can do is to just uh, duplicate this a lot of times so that we won't have to do it um, snip upon snip. Next one, we're done with a with that portion so let's just scroll down a bit and now we're going to do the third and fourth measure again go to snip and then hit new and make sure na nakukuha yung mga dynamics i think that's clean Control c to copy and then head over to powerpoint and then paste it right here ganun lang siya so it's basic guys um, I'm not gonna go through each of this um, one by one because I don't want you to get bored. So let me just fast track things for you. Hey, if you're new to this channel and you want to learn more about PowerPoint tips and tricks, either for school, for work, or for side hustle, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. If you find this video tutorial helpful, um, please share it to a friend. I appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. Thank you. Just do these two more snips and we're finally done snipping. Okay. Um, what you need to do before you get in and uh, do the screen recording, make sure that you have all um, measures and you're not missing anything. Because uh, once, once you started recording already, um, it's going to be hassle if you figure out that you're missing a, a measure or you're, you've duplicated some measures, right? So go, go ahead and ch double check. It's uh, a bit uh, laborious, but trust me, this is easier than to you know do it with the... Uh, with other video editing softwares like Camtasia, Adobe, stuff like that, Sony. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we are ready to do a screen recording. Go to the first slide. I'm already here and go to insert screen recording. Select the entire screen and hit record. Record. So my countdown a lit. Don't uh, don't rush. Don't panic. Um, it's very important that we need to hit next a little bit in advance before the next lyrics. But for this one, because since we are already dealing with a music sheet, on the last measure, you just have to um hit next on the last beat. So this is a four four time signature song. Let's just um hit next on the th the fourth note, right? So this is the first one, second, third, and fourth. Hit it here. Lagi dito sa ano sa panghuling measure sa slide. Okay. So I guess we're ready. Let's switch back to our music player and then let's play our music. And then head over to our presentation. And next. One, two, three. And next. Two, three. One, two, three. Next. One, two, three. Next. And one, two, three. Next. And we're done. Okay. So once we're done, um, hover. Oh, uh, imit ko muna siya. Hover your mouse on top, and then you you stop the recording. And on the first slide of your presentation, magapir dapat itong recorded na version nato. So what you can do, just like my old video, is to cut it, and then Control N for new PowerPoint deck. Let's remove these text boxes. Paste the video. So you notice that I spoke a lot here during the screen recording, right? We wanted to take these things out, even um. Um, the portions on the recording where I spoke at the very end of the video. So how do we trim the video? While it is selected, go to playback. 
and then uh, hit trim video. I already know that I should be cropping this video at 155. So it's easy if you just type it in here. And uh, I also know that I should uh, cut it somewhere here at 40, 440. So once you're happy with that, click OK. Just maximize it. Then what you want to do is to drag our MP3 onto our slide. And I'm going to do it right now. Once it's here, go to animations and then animation pane. You can see two objects here. The first one is a video. The second one is the audio. So what you want to do is to drag the second item, which is the MP3, the music, on top. Right? Um, change the start to after previous, meaning once we hit on the presentation, on the slideshow, it's going to automatically play. Also, with this uh, video, it should play uh, together with the video, right? So how do we do that? Just uh, click here and then select with previous. So let's just try to play it in and uh, find out if the, the video um, syncs with the music. If not, we can easily adjust it. So you see, um, um, the video is a, a very advanced, right? What we want to do is to select the video, which is the second item, and then put some delay in it, maybe uh, two seconds delay or 250 delay, and then try it again. So this is a challenge. You need to find out uh, how many delays you'll be putting on the video so that uh, uh, all your work is going to pay off. Put more delays on the video, right? Because it came very early. So let me try two and then 75. Good. One, two, three, and next. Good. Next. Good. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So um, once you're happy with that, make sure that you mute this recording, the screen recording, so that uh, any noise captured from when we recorded it will not be heard. All right, just click it. Uh, we are ready to export our video. Click export and then export it as a video. So create a video. Make sure that we're selecting the full HD version and we don't need five seconds on each of the slides. So just make it zero. And then once you're... Okay, with that, click Create Video. It's going to ask you a file name. I'm going to change it to Since Jesus Came Into My Heart Choir Guide. Hit Save. And it's going to export here for a bit of time, so we just have to be patient. That's it. We're done. And finally, here is our rendered video. Let's just uh, check it real quick if it's working or not. Next. Okay, cool. It's working so far. Let me just uh, check at the very end if it's rendered everything. Cool. It did. So that's it. If you find this helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel and share this video to you, any person, choir member, choir director, musician, anything that you might think would need this. Uh, uh, tutorial. Thank you. Mm -hmm.